Okay, welcome everyone, or should I say welcome back to Children's Liturgy, as it's been a few weeks since we posted a lesson with uh, being off over the holidays. We hope everyone has had a blessed Christmas. During this time, we've also celebrated the Feast of the Holy Family, New Year's, and Epiphany. Last Sunday was the Feast of the Epiphany. And on Epiphany, we recognize that Jesus, who is the light of the world, was made visible to the Magi, or the three kings, the three wise men, who had traveled a great distance to honor him. During this feast, we celebrate that God's saving love is offered to all people of the world that seek him out. January is an exciting time. It marks the beginning of a brand new year. Some people like to make New Year's resolutions or promises of how they can be or do better for the year ahead. And even if you don't make New Year's resolutions, this is still an exciting time. It's a time when we can forget about our past mistakes and look forward to new opportunities that lie ahead of us for the year to come. It is a time of new beginnings. And even Jesus experienced times of new beginnings in his life. One of those times was when he was baptized, which is what we will celebrate today in our gospel. Jesus's baptism marked the beginning of his ministry here on earth. Up until that time, he had not performed any miracles. But after his baptism, Jesus began to perform great miracles. And from this new beginning, many people began to understand that Jesus truly was the Son of God and they began to follow him. For our opening prayer, we'll start in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God of heaven and earth, you sent your son Jesus to lead us to you. Send us your Holy Spirit into our hearts so that we may have faith and courage to follow Jesus in all that we do, amen. As I said, today's gospel is about Jesus' baptism. And we're going to hear about something very special that happens to him afterwards. The gospel is from the book of Luke, chapter 3, verses 15 and 16, 21 and 22. The Baptism of Jesus. Let's meet Jesus, God's one and only Son. Hey he came to earth to save us, each and every one. Let's meet John the Baptist, who loved God so very much. Hey. He lived in the desert, eating bugs and honey for his lunch. One day, John was baptizing people in the Jordan River. Jesus saw what he was doing and walked right over there. John said, Hold on. You should baptize me. I shouldn't be the one. But Jesus replied, Come on, John. This is how it should be done. Eh, okay. When Jesus came out of the water, the heavens opened above. John saw the Holy Spirit come down to rest on Jesus as a dove. A voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved son. And John the Baptist knew that Jesus was the chosen one. Okay, before I come back onto the screen, I'm going to switch over to another quick video. The That's a bit of a recap. It does a good job of just summarizing the past couple of weeks, wrapping up the Christmas season, and um, a little bit more about today's gospel. Today is the baptism of the Lord the last day of the Christmas season in the church. Christmas shows us three important things. First, it shows us how God became a human when Christ was born. Jesus was a baby born to a family with a mom and a dad. And it's all part of God's plan to save us from sin. Next, the Christmas season shows us that Jesus, a baby, is the true King of Israel. On the Feast of the Epiphany, the three Magi came to see Jesus, the King of the Jews. They bring him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh because he is a king, a priest, and a prophet. Finally, this Sunday, we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. In the Gospel, 
Jesus shows up at the River Jordan and asks John the Baptist to baptize him. John is super confused because John's baptism isn't even the same as Jesus' baptism with the Holy Spirit. John says, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me? But John does what Jesus asks, and something amazing happens. The heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. We see the Trinity all together. God the Father speaks from heaven, God the Son stands in the river Jordan, and God the Holy Spirit comes down from heaven. God isn't a guy who sits in heaven and just watches stuff happen on earth. He became human, and he knows what it's like to be sad and happy. And even though we're only human, we are wrapped in the love of the Trinity, God's love forever. Are you there? So I thought that was a, a really good recap of the past Today is the baptism of weeks. Today, we celebrated the baptism of Jesus, and I'm sure that many of you are baptized, um, but may not remember that, but maybe some of you have been to a baptism before, maybe for a brother or a sister or a cousin, or maybe just as part of our Sunday service. Generally, when we think of baptism in our church, we see the child dressed in white, and they're baptized by pouring or sprinkling some holy water on their, their head. But as we saw from the videos, in Jesus' time, people were baptized right in the river. They were dunked right under the water. And even today, there are many churches that baptize people by immersion in a pool of water of some kind. It could be a special basin in their church or an outdoor pool or maybe even a river or a lake. But whatever the method of baptism, it, uh, it means the same thing. Baptism is a gift from God. We are baptized in Jesus' name, and our sins are forgiven in doing so. In baptism, God brings us into his family. We become members of the church. We become followers of Jesus. And as members of God's family, we take care of one another, and we welcome other new members into the family of um, followers of Jesus. Today we heard about some special things that happened to Jesus when John the Baptist had baptized him. At Jesus' baptism, a voice came from heaven that said, You are my son whom I love. With you I am well pleased. This told everyone that Jesus was God's beloved son. Our baptisms also identify us as children of God. And in the same way, each of us is called beloved at our own baptism. This means that each and every one of us is precious to God. No matter what we do, God always loves us and is always calling us closer. Even when we have really bad days, God is close and we need to trust in his love for us. The other very special, important thing that happened at Jesus' baptism was the Holy Spirit came down to him as a dove from heaven. The Holy Spirit comes to us as well at our baptism. Through baptism, we begin a new life, a holy life. And the Holy Spirit helps, to, helps us to live as followers of Jesus. The Holy Spirit brings us joy and it helps make us brave. And we see it working in us by the way we act and by the way we treat other people. Do we share what we have with those who don't have enough? Are we kind to others? Do we try to do what's right? Do we try to make the world a better or a fairer place for others to live in? Do we try to spread peace to other people? Do we love others as Jesus taught us? I want you to think about what you can do to show the Holy Spirit working in you for the week to come, the months ahead, as this new year is upon us. What can we do to show the Holy Spirit working in us? For our closing prayer, God of love, as we gather at your table, we give thanks for your love. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and help us to show your love to others in all that we do, amen. Now, I thought a really good craft for this week, an activity for this week, would be the baptism dove. 
to remind us how the Holy Spirit came to Jesus after his baptism and comes to us as well. All you need is a regular paper plate. It can be colored on the back, it doesn't matter. And you draw your outline as you can see in the picture there. For the head, I traced um, the outline of a cup and then I just drew down an oval for the body and just came out for the, the tail. And then you just draw two lines going down at the sides as you can see there and you cut along the lines to make your body and your wings. I drew the eyes and the beak and the feet onto the body and then you attach your wings either with tape or glue and you have your baptism dove. Nice and easy but a nice reminder of today's lesson. I always like to finish off with a song to remind us of the lesson for today. So let's see here. Christ went for us, you were baptized, God's spirit on you came, as peaceful as a dove and yet as urgent as a flame, as urgent as a flame. God called you my beloved son, you are God's servant true. To proclaim the reign of heaven, God's holy will to do, God's holy will to do. Baptize us with your spirit, Lord, your cross on us beside, that likewise in God's service we may perfect freedom. that wraps up for this week. Have a great week ahead. God bless you and we'll see you again soon.